Okay, we're driving down Route 40. We're still in Arkansas, getting ready to cross over the bridge into Tennessee. Uh, you can see the pyramid maybe a little bit on the um, left-hand side here. It's Friday, so around nine something. And there's not that much traffic, really, compared to what it would be in Maryland at nine something in the morning on a major highway. So the Bass, um, this is the Bass Pyramid we're going to today. It's in Memphis. Um, and they have the pro shop in there. They have an aquarium. They have the tallest freestanding elevator in the world at 32 stories. And uh, we'll be taking some pictures of that once we get inside if they let us videotape inside. Some places don't like you to do that, but we'll see what happens when we get there. But we're getting ready to cross over the Mississippi and the pyramids on the left hand side here. Of course, big trucks kind of go past just as we come up on it. Here's Memphis, downtown Memphis over here. Let's see if I can show you that. Danny Thomas Boulevard. We're going to take 51 up to Danny Thomas Boulevard. Pro shop is coming up here. Like I said before, Memphis is over there. The big trucks coming up over here. And here's the bridge. So halfway across we'll be in Tennessee because state lines change halfway across the river. I don't know if you knew that, Kylan. Or Damon, if you're watching. Um, here's the pyramid. It's got Bass Pro Shops in it. It's got Ducks Unlimited. It has an observation deck on the top with a restaurant um, that wasn't open um, all the time we were here until today. They're going to reopen, so we're going to eat there for lunch. And uh, there we go, it's the best pro shop. All right, check you out in a little bit. So here we are, we're at the pyramid. There's the front door. There's Uncle Steve in the car. For Opa, for Damon. And then the pyramid's up there. And then that top part's like a all glass, and that's got the, where the restaurant and the uh, observation deck is. So we're gonna go inside in a minute. We're inside the Bass Pro Shop. So they have like these birds. See the turkeys? I hear water. We'll walk over there in a second. See the turkey? And then look, you can see all the way up, there's a tree. Oh look, it's a bear! It's a bear! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look up there, Steven. This is awesome. I know, I see it. See? There's the elevator going up the center. Wow. This is crazy. Right behind you is going to be our catfish and gar swamp. In the gar swamp, we do have two seven foot alligator gar. Sometimes they like to hang out in the bridge. You just want to switch them around a bit. At the base of the elevator, we have six male American alligators. At the top of the elevator, we have a crappie and walleye exhibit with some yellow perch. Over at the general store, we have a smaller exhibit with some small white sturgeon and, a, uh, and some small lake sturgeon. And then our last exhibit is going to be located over at Uncle Buck's. There's some pretty cool fish in there. There's even an eel. So you can check that out even if you're not planning on eating there. Look at the ducks.
There's a whole herd of wild boar over there. See them? Look at the wild boar. Oh yeah. That's cool, and there's more of them there. Mm -hmm. Wow. They have some. Don't drop a GoPro in the no, drink. I don't want to drop it in another drink. This is uh, one of the restaurants they have here. Look at those big catfish. Can you see them? Holy moly. We're going up the stairs. I want to look for binoculars. Oh my gosh. Are they cool or what? On um, top of the fish pot tank that's in the restaurant. So a guy in a diving suit, and then all these fish are floating around in the air. We're on the second floor, and that's. Okay, so we're in the. Did you know that you're taking a ride with the nation's tallest freestyle skier, Jason Hill? Yeah, I'm Mississippi River Blue Cat. One day, my dear friends and fishing buddies, Johnny Mars, the founder of this place, Jack Emmett and I, were not very far from this building on the Mississippi River fishing. Johnny was trying to make a major decision if we should put a Bass Pro Shop in the pyramid and kept asking, should we do it? Not knowing how to answer, he finally said, I'll make it easy. If we catch a catfish over 30 pounds, we'll put a Bass Pro inside. Well, guess what? There we were. When Jack set the hook and reeled in a fish that removed all the pressure, a beautiful catfish, a little over 30 pounds. Johnny screamed out, it's a deal, we're going to do it. We all kissed the fish and released it. Oh. The fish even got back to the bottom. Johnny started making plans on turning this place into an outdoor playground. A good fish story, huh? <laughs> well, you're just about to the top, and I want you to go and have a big time at the lookout. Don't forget to step out on those glass overlooks and take a look at the most amazing view of men. Have a good time, folks. It's a little scary, that thing. Okay. That's why you can't see what's going on. Did you turn it off? No. Hi, Hi. I guess you need this. Well, there's like steampunk fish. Here we go up this way. Oh, oh, go up this way. Yeah, sorry. I'm wrong. <laughs> you can see through the glass on the bottom. It's a glass floor and you can see the pyramid going down. I wonder if there's a sofa board for it. See the sofa board? Mm -hmm. Here's Memphis. Wow, the Mississippi. The and that's the bridge we came over. Some houses down there. Where do you think where our campsite is? Up there? Look 
they're all like fish, like bass. See all the things? See all these are bass. Oh yeah. All the things holding the wires look like bass. We didn't see any uh, people because yeah. we were in the back instead yeah. of the front. Yeah, really cool. 